What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the first advanced mechanics guide by Vermintide Amplified. Today we're gonna go through three core aspects of Vermintide gameplay all legend players wanting to improve should familiarize themselves with. This first thing I think you've seen before, this is how you completely lock a Rad Ogre in movement by constantly dodging forwards and backwards. Uh, you do a charge attack forward into a dodge backwards and the key really here is timing the dodge and not dodging too early because if you dodge too early he's gonna start charging forward again really it's right this window here you see where i could actually get into attacks that window people often dodge backwards too early but you really want to move until like, you really don't want to dodge until you see him start his attack it's obviously easier with a hero like witch hunter captain than using a weapon like the axe and falcon uh, this does make it a lot easier as you do have a lot of mobility also with the 20% dodge distance but it can be done with most heroes and most weapons in some shape or form some more elegant and easier to uh, execute than others also here the next thing i'm going to show you is uh, how to solo a cast bomb obviously again this is so much easier when you know nothing is going to jump in your back i have speed this clip up a little bit uh, to not waste too much time but the point i'm trying to make here really is when you have a chaos spawn on you, especially if you want to damage it at the same time if you're alone or only two people. The, the trick really is to have the balls, so to speak, to go towards it, because that's the only way to really control a chaos spawn is to move towards him, forcing him into an attack and then being prepared with your dodge backwards. You can't uh, get him into a complete like lock the way you can with a rat over. But it is still possible to fairly safely fight him. But you, you just you can't keep running from him because you have no control over him if you just keep moving away. So you have to move forward in. That opens your window, and then you want to make your uh, deal your damage there. Obviously, not getting uh, picked up is always the most important part. So if you're unsure whether or not you're able to get your attack in, then always wait. Always safer. Obviously, when fighting a Chaos Bond, swapping the aggro is much more important, whereas with the Rad Ogre, really, if you see someone locking him like that, there's no need to take the aggro. You might as well just clear all the minions first uh, before damaging the Rad Ogre, as he most likely has it under control. But as you can see here, it is, it is possible uh, fairly consistently, but obviously a lot harder when you have to deal with a bunch of minions at the same time. Next up, I want to show you guys a couple of examples uh, of how to push a, bo uh, a boss down from a ledge. This is super useful in this clip. I see Cooper using his ability. I notice how close he is to the ledge. Move up on the side and boom, instant boss kill. So like, obviously you do lose the loot die, but it's really useful when you're soloing. Like in this run here, I was just playing a deed with uh, a couple of bots uh, attempting a solo. And when I saw the rat over, my first instinct was to stop him over right here, because that way, hopefully, boop, and easy kill. Like, that's the safest way to get rid of the boss. Also, another really useful hero for this is uh, Battle Wizard, since the double teleport can really stagger a boss incredibly well. Luring him into an, an angle, an efficient angle, before you do it, is a really easy way to get a quick boss kill. Next up, I want to talk about assassin control. Uh, in these couple of clips, I'm going to showcase what I, I see very few legend players actually do. Uh, this is especially useful if you're playing a hero like a slayer, but really, the point I'm trying to get across here, uh, r really two mechanics. Um, the first one here I'm just going to show you a couple of times, which is basically just the fact that if an assassin jumps you from the front, you can actually just push him, depending on the weapon you're using and the, the push block angle. Uh, and the animation. It can be easier with some weapons than others, but it's a really efficient way to control an assassin. Especially in a situation where you're playing something like Slayer, where you, it, you can dodge the assassin over and over, but really it's not going to get you any closer to actually getting the kill on the assassin. Doing a push block attack is much more efficient. 
as I'm going to showcase here, you, when you have an assassin and you're playing the Slayer, you dodge him, you're out of range. You dodge him again, but you're still out of range. You dodge him again, you're still out of range. And he might just despawn, but instead, you do a pushback, boom, assassin dead in a couple of seconds. It's so much more efficient. I've noticed one of the horror weapons to do this with is actually the short dagger. For some reason, I find the animation to be difficult sometimes to use. But what you can do here is instead you do a sideways dodge along with the push block, and that really increases your chances of hitting it. It gives you a better angle. So next up here, I want to talk about a mechanic. Again, I see so few players using, even though it's just so efficient. And that's the fact that you can actually use your ability while resting people with any hero. You just keep holding your E, activate your S, uh, your F without releasing your E, and as you can see, you can just position yourself so much more efficiently. So I'm going to show in this clip where I had to cut some of the sound off due to uh, Discord, um, speaking in Danish. <laughs> but this is a really good clip to showcase what I'm talking about, okay? See my friend here, he's fucked. I started resting. Like, if I had done, used my ulti before or after the rest, neither would have worked. But by actually timing it so that I used it right when I had to, while the animation was uh, activating, and we're good to go. Thank you so much for watching, and have an awesome day, guys.